Barbie dolls and doll collectors. It's Green Eyed Barbie Girl here. It's going to be a very long video today. I'll be unboxing six Barbies. If you want to see what those Barbies are, guys, then please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, a comment, like my videos, and watch to the end. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Hi dolls and doll collectors, it's Green Eyed Barbie Girl here. I'm back with another unboxing. I've got about six or seven dolls to share with you. If you're interested, then please keep on watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. Hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you'll know when I've uploaded new videos. So let's get started, guys. All the Barbies that will be shown and unboxed in this video were purchased on eBay. So let's go ahead guys and start with the first one. I have already cut this one open as you can see. It was very uh, awkward, very hard to get into, very tight box. So I thought I'd go ahead and save some time and do that. So let's go ahead guys. I'm not sure which one is what. This is the Bob Mackie. Let me go ahead and take it out of the box. So in this purchase, guys, I did get two of the same dolls. They are the Bob Mackie Holiday Barbie. And I did get both of them, if you can believe it, for $13. Not quite sure why he let them go for that price. But here's a closer look, guys. And they are in excellent condition so i'm thinking about maybe giving one of these barbies as a giveaway when i reach 500 subscribers one of them i will keep and one of them will be a giveaway if you're interested come over subscribe and i will be setting up a instagram channel as well very shortly so here is the first one guys is she not gorgeous look at the detail look at the fur the jewels her box is in really really good condition like i said there's a side view i don't know why he let them go for that price maybe because they are a 2006 doll i love her her face her makeup her braid and look at the earrings and the detail there, guys. I'm not going to take her out of the box. Like I said, one of them will be a giveaway. So there's the first one that came in this purchase. So they were $6.50 each. Now, where can you get two dolls for that price, guys? So it looks like on the top of this box, it does have a little bit of waving or... I don't know what you would like to call it on that one. And then on this one, the top of the box is pretty much perfect. She's intact, just like the other one is. Mint condition. The box is really, really nice for being that old. So what do you guys think? Was that an awesome score, guys? Two of them for $13. Look at that. You cannot go wrong with this eBay find, guys. Just amazing find. Do you guys have these dolls? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. So guys, the next one is in this box. We're going to go ahead and open this one together. Like I said, I don't remember which ones I purchased, and I don't remember which one is in what box. But that's great. It's a surprise, right? Okay, just bear with me a second here till we get the box open. I'm sure there's a lot of tape on this one. need to get a box cutter these scissors are really not doing it this is why I prefer to open them all off camera and get them all ready 
Okay, so this one looks like it is a another twin set. Let me go ahead and take it out of the box, guys. So these are the next two that came in that box. And these two I purchased for $7. So they were $3.50 each. It was a really good uh, sale on that. These ones do have wear on their boxes, as you can see. And they are the Olympic Gymnast Barbies. There is the other one, guys. One of these will also be a giveaway if you are interested. This box is not the greatest. $3.50 per doll. Right? These ones are pretty cool. It shows the back here. If you don't have this doll, how to operate it. It is pretty cool. And the year on these two dolls is between 1992 and 1994 that it states on the back of the box. Look at her high kick. I love her blonde hair. She's really cute. She does come with a bag there, her running shoes. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Okay, you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a little bit that I am obsessed with this doll and this doll designer. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you guys have heard of it or not, but if you've watched my channel before you've seen the doll, I do have four more from uh, this particular person and it is this one. I think his name is pronounced Mickleman. And there is, I believe, three or four different series that he did come out with. Go ahead and move the box. And it does come in this really nice box. Now, each collection has a different design box to it. This particular doll, guys, is from their Fabulous Fur Collection. So let's go ahead, guys. I'm excited to see what she looks like, and we'll open the box. Do you guys have these dolls? Do you know of these dolls? Please let me know in the comments below. Go ahead, guys, and see what she looks like. We have a peek. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Look at her, guys. Here's a close-up. Look at her face. I do apologize again for the light, but she has red hair. A beautiful black dress. She still does have the tag there and she is in a black faux fur. She has her original shoes still intact. She has not been taken out of the box. She is just a gorgeous doll, guys. What do you think? Give me your thoughts on her. Glittered black dress. She does have black gloves as well. Still intact in her box, guys. Now, on this particular one, there is a blonde, I believe a platinum, and a brunette. And they do come in different colored dresses as well as different colored furs. I did try to get the other one that's hard to get. And I believe the fur is silver. And she's in a blue or silver dress. I can't recall right now. There is... A little bit of information and a photo of the uh, designer. He is no longer making these dolls. How I found out about this maker and these dolls is I was watching another Barbie collector and I can't remember what his name was but I did try to find him with no luck but if I do I will leave it in the description bar below. So this is how I found these dolls. So let's go ahead guys and we'll open another one. So here's the other package, guys. It came in this box here. And all of these uh, dolls came from the US and I am in Canada. This is kind of a weird box. Let me go ahead, guys, take it out of the box and I'll be right back. So guys, I managed to get half of the uh, tape off. It's a makeshift box. So let's go ahead and we'll open it up. 
And look, guys, I told you I was obsessed with this doll. This is another one by Mickleman. I do apologize if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. So there is the box on this one, guys. Like I had mentioned earlier, each doll comes in a different box. This one, I'm not quite sure what doll it is. But I do like the graphics on this box. And it looks like it's in fairly good condition. And these dolls, I believe, are from the 90s. It's not saying anything on the back. It just gives that. So let's go ahead, guys. And we'll see which one this one is. Are you ready? Okay, this one is uh, pretty different. I'll give you a closer look at her and you can see her freaky makeup. Can you see that? This one is quite interesting. She is in a beautiful red gown, but let's start off at the top with her hair. It is like a light red color, lots of curls. She does have some beads in her hair, some beaded earrings. She's wearing a red dress, beautiful long red dress, and she does have beads on the bottom of it. So let's talk about her face, shall we? I'll give you a close up. Here's a closer look, guys. You can see the beads in her hair. And a closer look at her face. Like I was saying, look at the makeup. It is quite a mess, but that's how she was designed. There's her beaded earrings, the beads around the dress. So guys, a little bit about this doll, and they did send me some information about it here, and I'll show it to you in a minute. This is a custom-faced doll. And it, it, the original doll says Midge, and they named it Scarlet. The date on this doll says December of 2002. And the artist is Elizabeth Brookman, and she did sign it. And I do have the original documentation stating that there with her signature on it. Now, what makes this doll a little different is if you take a look at her face. Let's go close up here, guys. The makeup is all over the place. Her lipstick is all askew. Look at that. And that's why I took her because she was a little different. Let's take a closer look at her gown, shall we? Look at all the beading detail. It is just stunning. And it's in like a satin type of fabric. Okay, guys, I did take a quick peek at her shoes. And she is wearing the original shoes as well. If you can see there guys I know it's really hard because of the light but she is wearing the original shoes Looks like there's something going on with her ankles maybe they painted her that way to look like that I don't know it just looks a little weird what I just noticed by pulling up the sleeve and taking a look she does have this gorgeous ring on as well as this stunning bracelet guys Look at the detail. She is just gorgeous. Let's go ahead, guys, and we'll open another one. Okay, we are back at number five for our unboxing for the day, guys. So let's go ahead and we'll open it up. It's been so long since I purchased these and I've been so busy that I haven't had time to really go through this or do a video for you guys. Oh, guys, are you ready for this? Like I said, my obsession, I do have another one. So let me go ahead and take this one out of the box. Now this particular one is from the candy collection. So the box on this one is in not bad condition. See, as you can see on the back, they are a little different. More about him there as well. There is a little damage there, but that really doesn't bother me. There is the gorgeous box, guys. It does show the 
six outfits and the six dolls. So let's go ahead and we will open up this one. I'm excited because I don't know which one this is out of the six. Okay, guys, look at her. Wow. She is with a close-up, guys. She does come with the original hat. Look at her pearl necklace. I loved her outfit. The detail with the black gloves and the pearls. Really stunning. She's wearing a pink skirt. She has her original shoes and handbag and a pair of glasses and her original hat box. The thing that I just noticed when I opened her, she's damaged on the front of her leg. This was not disclosed to me when I purchased her, but she is stunning. Nevertheless, her dress is gorgeous, guys. Let me take a look here. It is a full pink dress and it's made out of like this uh, velour, not quite a velvet, a one piece dress. There's her pearl necklace and this is her jacket and her gorgeous gloves and her pearls. She is really pretty. She does have a pearl brooch there that is coming off a little bit. So let's move on to the next one, guys. So guys, I've gone ahead and I have uh, cut it open. Let's take a look what is inside. And it's another Mickleman doll. Who would have guessed, right guys? And unfortunately, it did not come with uh, the dust cover. It only came with the bottom of the bag. So she is one of the ones that are in the collection of six that I am trying to get. She does have the gorgeous red hair and i love the faces on them guys here is a closer look at her face she does have the original tag on big black hat with uh fuchsia pink look at the polka dots i really like her outfit it does have the larger polka dots on the top the smaller ones on the bottom she does have a beaded bracelet with also black gloves i love her face she does have reddy brown hair she comes with the original handbag shoes and glasses so guys that looks like all of the dolls i'll be opening today i really love these dolls they are unique they are different than your standard barbie but this one particularly i really like i love her messed up makeup and then the rest of them are stunning as so, well. Keep on watching, guys. I do have some more dolls coming. So happy collecting. Take care.